Hello, my name is Patrick, playing Spelunky for the Busted TV Challenge. Still trying to do a no gold run. I've been doing this like, feels like forever now. <laughs> That's probably been pretty close to forever for you guys watching at home. I, I wanna get this achievement done. I feel like I'm close. I feel like I'm close. I, I'm, I can get down to the ice caves occasionally and then when I don't get money fly into me from afar, and I could probably get to the temple. It's just, it's that problem that is that is causing me to uh, to lose these runs. It's not dying. It's having gold fly into me for some reason. That's what I need to work on. I need to work on management. I need to work on not letting gold run into me. So this is going to prevent me from accessing the crate. So we might as well pop a bomb here. Because I, I do want the crate. Nothing got dropped. We got the Pitcher's Mint. Pitcher's Mint ain't bad. It ain't good, but it ain't... Fucking Christ. It ain't... I just wanted the skull, and now I see that there's a rock here, so... Getting hit was pointless. I would prefer... You know, cape. Bombs. I would prefer a jetpack, obviously. I would prefer... Something that... Would allow me to descend in the ice caves, like... Climbing gloves. Just checking. I want to see if there is a, uh, a key over here. Maybe a dog and a crate. And it looks like there might even be a way past the dog and the crate, but there might not be a guaranteed way of getting here from the, uh, the shop. So you know what? I'm actually just going to put a bomb here. Fucking Christ. I got hit by an arrow. Well, I'm going to need that HP. And I could, it looks like I could have gotten up from below, so there's no reason to, uh, use that bomb. But I picked up another three bombs, so it's not that bad. Yeah, this is, uh, already not necessarily going all that well. We'll see. We'll, we'll make do. Actually, you know what? I would have to use, use the bomb anyway, because there is a pushable boulder in the way. So I don't feel bad about using that bomb map now. I feel bad about getting hit. That was stupid. But as long as I can get the dog to the exit, we'll have 3 HP. 3 HP is survivable. There's nothing over there that I want. Let's get out. I don't have any sort of trap disarming device, but... I didn't want to risk hanging out any longer than I need to, needed to. Why did these skeletons take a while to activate? It looked like... I moved a bit and then they activated. That was that was very strange that that is how that worked. Take his skull. Whip the gold. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to use a rope here. Because I, if I... I don't have to use the rope. I can fall over here. Oh wow! Double shot! That's strange. But yeah, I, I can actually do this just by whipping that gold and then doing a very careful maneuver around that snake. I, I didn't really know if it would actually work. I'm glad that it did work. Trigger the trap. With the gold bar. Put the rock down there so I have it for later. Grab the dog. Hopefully there's no spikes. I think you'll be fine. There's a bomb shop. Bomb shop has bombs. I don't want... Bom oh, fucking Christ. Took fucking two hits of damage right there like an idiot. At least I didn't pick up any gold, but I feel really bad about that damage because that was super unnecessary. Super freaking unnecessary. God damn. Well, let's take a look over here. See if there's any items that I want, like a crate. No. You know what? I'm already done. We're out. On the verge of death for the entire run. This will be one of the few times that I actually die from death and not from picking up gold and having to kill myself. I'm gonna put the torch away so I... Oh, don't run into the gold. 
Gold got stuck in the web for a second. Want to check what's over here in case there's something else that I might need. Like another crate. Is this a snake pit? This is totally a snake pit. I don't want to go the snake pit direction. I want to go the not snake pit direction, I think. I like the crate. That's fine, that's fine. I can still get the torch. I was worried for a second, but we got this. And I can just whip the gold out of the way here, get rid of the pot. I'm not even gonna throw it. Jump over the torch. That's a little dangerous. Trap had already activated though, which is very nice. Okay. Oh shit! <laughs> Freaking lightning bug! Trying to come up to me. Move to the right. You. Shit. Well, the torch is gone. Which ain't good because I can't see. I just, I knew that there was a, a blue snake somewhere. I couldn't see where they, where it was. And I knew that there was a bat somewhere, but I couldn't tell where that was. Oh, we can get a shotgun. Dude, the dead are restless. And I am restless for a shotgun. So there's the dog inside of the uh, skull crypt. I could go to the secret level, but I do not think that is appropriate. I would prefer to just keep it simple, stupid. Oh, we can get a cape too! Okay, okay, okay. There's also a piranha. Gotta be careful of that. I did get hit once, and I picked up a parachute. Fuck! Fuck! There's the ash grave. I need that shotgun. I. I need that shotgun. So, let's blow it up. Okay. Fuck you, Vampire Batman. Oh! Shit! Oh, God! You piece of garbage! Jump in the spike! There you go! At least you died! God! I never expect him to start jumping when he's in his bat form. I expect him to keep batting around. <laughs> you piece of total garbage. All right. Enough is enough. No more playing around. I mean, I took way too much damage on that run attempt. I don't know why, but I totally did. I hear the dog pretty close, so I do want to try to get the dog. Yeah, figured. Well, just run through the web. Considering my play from the last round, I'm gonna need some HP. So let's start collecting HP now. Okay, okay, okay. I hear snakes! Lots of snakes. I don't like going to the snake pit. There's always money in the snake pit, and money just means I'll accidentally pick some up. So the correct way is to the right. Is there anything here to the left that I might want? Ah, this, this is the snake pit. So we do not want to go that way. We want to go to the right. That was so unnecessary. I should have kept the skull. That is the bigger problem there because the spider is not going to do shit. Because goodbye. 
just in case I fall in front of the trap. So two bombs for a crate, I am going to say. Uh, two bombs for a crate and a dog. That's actually a little bit more valuable. Let's let's do it. I would trade one for either. So I can't say no to two for both, you know? Well, I mean, that was the other worry. And that worry came to pass. When a gold bar just rushed into my inventory, into my hands. Just, t just not stop picking up the gold when you find it, lady. Lady Spelunky. Er. Lady, lady, there is a Lady Spelunky in the default cast, isn't there? This is an uh, alternate Lady Spelunky. I think I saved her from the, uh, the level with the big Yeti man. The king of the Yetis. Sometimes you get that on level 3-1. I think it's only 3-1. I don't think you can get it on any of the other ones. Oh, I didn't even see it because the freaking I hear snakes, lots of lots of snakes pop up was in the way. Fuck. I knew that that was going to cause me to like pick up gold or something in the future, and I guess getting hit by an arrow trap is my my uh, penalty for not paying attention. Ah, ah. One bomb for the dog at this point is good because I am a little bit low on HP. don't particularly like the gold situation. We made it work. Just want you in the pit. Get in the pit! Now, is the, uh, is the chest nearby? Probably not. So you know what? We're just gonna leave. I can take the key with me. There's no point, really, except to have a blunt object I can throw. Hmm. Free crate. Altar. <laughs> uh. Just want to get rid of all the traps as soon as I can. So I don't accidentally... Screw myself over. Oh, look at that bounce! Look at that throw! <sighs> I was gonna say, look at that throw. It was a nice throw. You gotta admit. Unfortunately, it caused gold to fly into my inventory! Like usual. Like effin' usual. need to just stop playing around. But there's a crate there! I wanted the crate! You know what? Let's stop playing around. There's a different set of win conditions on this run compared to a normal run. We don't need to necessarily go grab every single crate. Uh, I've got excess bombs, so I will try to get this crate. I know I'm just talking about, ah, we don't need all the crates, Let's go for a crate! But this one's just like right here. For two bombs, I can get two crates. If I'm lucky, I think I am. Uh. Uh. Oh, there's another crate. I'm gonna have to use a bomb to get rid of the bars. Oh, the gold bars. Fuck it, let's do it. Oh no! There's three bombs. So, we didn't really cost ourselves any bombs and we picked up a machete. Well, machete's gone already, because <laughs> I'm not going to go pick it up right there. Oh, I might be able to pick it up. Yeah, I can. I can grab it. The dog. Okay, we've got a machete, we've got the Pitcher's Mint. Pretty sure it's a Pitcher's Mint, not a Catcher's Mint. Is there a difference? 
Because you, you throw items with the mitt, so that makes it a pitcher's mitt, right? It's not a baseball glove. It's a pitcher's mitt. Alright, goodbye, machete. I am not going to take you through this level. I am just going to get the hell out. Level 1-2. Say, I can't see in the dark level. That is not good. That's ah, a jetpack, of course. It's a jetpack. Oh, I can't get through this. I'm going to have to use like a bomb or just abandon the torch, but I'm not going to do that. That's not suicidal, but that's dumb. There's also a sapphire right there, too. Be careful of that. I forgot about the throw, but luckily, I can still grab this. Money is not totally in the way. This money might be, so let's whip it out of the way. There is an altar of sacrifice. Torch will fall down. Oh. Paste! Try to drop. No, 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 let's go to the side and drop the torch. See where we can land. Okay, I, I gotta abandon the abandon the torch now. But there's the exit. Nice. Oh, I don't know why, but this run feels it feels real. Would love to be able to hurt the big, the big bad spider. Uh, you know what? We don't need paste, so f him. We're at, we out. We out. Key is on this level somewhere. So crate, I can get that for free. Jump over the gold. <gasps> I mean, that one's already activated. Oh fucking Christ! I threw the chest in the wall. I'm not getting that. You know what? I'm not getting that. some reason. There we go. I like that it pauses. Wish that the uh, music stopped. Because I, I do use the music for knowing when the uh, ghost is about to come. It's a very important thing to keep tabs on when you're playing Spelunky. So knowing when the ghost is going to come means you know how much you can explore. You know when you need to start just beelining the exit. It's gonna take two bombs, but I have seven. Ugh. I think I'm playing Spelunky wrong, trying to do this challenge, because I keep playing it like... Oh, the dogs can come to me. I keep playing it like it's a normal run. It's not a normal run. I do like the idea of going down there for more. More cash, that is. Dog, thank you. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. I like the idea of coming down here because there's another box. Yeah, F you gold. I would like to keep the dog alive. We don't need to trigger that trap either. We can just get the hell out. Okay. Whee! There's my mouse. What? <laughs> Sorry, someone just sent me a link. Or told me to look at something and I looked at it and I don't understand what's going on. So I'm confused now. Level 1-2, no gold. 11 bombs, 4 ropes. 
A pot scares the shit out of me. So you know what? Get out of here, pot. Oh, damn, it had a spider. Not a spider, a snake. Snake pot. Having an enemy in a pot can be very beneficial at certain times. Like when you need to make a jump, you can just make the jump. Okay. I, I, I felt like I got pushed to the left very quickly when I uh, jumped on that snake's head, but I'll, I'll accept that the game knows what it's doing. We'll go for the dog, though. Pick up the arrow and leave. Do 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 do. Ha! That's why I brought an arrow with me, even though there's a skull head. Probably don't need to be moving so laterally around the level, but there is a sacrifice in my future. Shit. There's also a key down there. One bomb I think would be enough to grab the key, but it's going to release a lot of money. So I think what I'd rather do is try to get... Shit. Try to get the uh, altar first. So I can do the sacrifice, and then I'll worry about the key. I am just gonna rope this. Just simplify my life. That should be my motto when I'm playing this, this challenge. Simplify my life. And look, simplifying our life means that now I have climbing gloves. Simplifying, uh, it's not simplifying, it's the opposite of simplifying, but I, I do want that key if I can grab it. What? Well, we're going to be killing shopkeepers now. <laughs> that bomb was not close enough to you, you jerk. You assholes. I need them to come out and start jumping on these spikes, because if they jump on the spikes, they should easily die. Are there spikes below him? So if I, if I toss a bomb in there, he's probably going to kill himself. So, fall down. He'll jump around, land on spikes. He did drop money when he died, but if I can just grab the shotgun, I'll have a gun. Where's the shotgun? Fucking Christ, there was a piece of gold under the bald man's dead body. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Fuck. I mean, I angered the shopkeepers. I wanted to get the freaking shotgun. Yes, so sue me. That doesn't mean I needed to pick up gold to do it. Okay, good. Got the rock. Hello, thank you. Well, we are gonna get out of here at least. Any crates? No crates. No crates, but at least I have one extra hit point. Okay, relax. Creak my chair a little bit. Hello, shopkeeper. I'm not gonna kill you. I really want to, though. I shouldn't have bothered going for the key. I really do think that it would be helpful to have the, uh, the Ujed Eye for when I'm fighting Olmec, but I should think about getting to Olmec first, you know? I haven't even had a chance to get to the fight trying this challenge run. I bounced over that gold bar. Did you see that? Yo, give me a... Give me a Perfect tens on that arrow dart shooter's shot, because that was ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm not going to use a bomb to get the dog, because I would have to go pick up the dog, and there's going to be some gold being released from the bomb. 
I also don't think I really need the HP more than I need the bombs, because I haven't found a single crate yet on this level, on this run, I should say. Hired Help and the Red Light District. Those are the most annoying shops because they can have uh, enemies interact with the shops creating a bad situation for you. Like a, a, a blue snake can just spit acid at, uh, at the dude in the shop and cause the shopkeeper to be really angry at you. This is worth the rope, but I'll do it here. This is not worth the rope at all. Camera. No, I'll take it. I don't like it. I wish I could sell things to the shop. Be like, hey, shopkeeper, what, what will you give me for the camera? Wait, that doesn't work. Is this helping me at all? I don't think this is helping me at all. Are you kidding me? I hate that. I had to I had to ditch it. I hate that the fucking enemies in this game will do damage when you're when you're on a ledge. what I wanted. And there is a sacrificial pit here. I would love to sacrifice the dog, even though I need HP right now. I want items more than anything else. Okay, uh, the teleporter is actually interesting. It might be even considered a good thing for this run. Are you gonna jump out? The spider juked me so hard. I only had one HP, so I don't mind uh, restarting there, but that spider juked me so hard, I thought I was gonna be able to get over him. Use him as a, as a springboard to prevent me from using up a rope. Instead, I got juked so hard. These spiders. Okay, okay, okay. Look for a crate or something over here. No, there's nothing. I'm going to try my best on this run to just get to the Olmec fight. I'm not going to worry about getting crates if they're out of the way. If they're in the way, I'll just get them. I'm not going to worry about all that BS that causes me to take damage. Take damage or accidentally pick up gold, which happens 9 times out of 10. I'm just going to focus on winning. Maybe that's what I need to do. Stop focusing on getting everything in the level. Just focus on winning. Now, if the dog is close, I would sacrifice them. And I think I can, like, jump my way back up here, so... We can grab the dog. Let's do it. I don't see any cash. This is beneficial, I think, and worth the time. Pick up the glasses. Hey, now I don't need to worry about the key. And if I do still worry about the key, then, well, obviously, in my brain, I think the key is more important than it actually is. Let's grab the skull. Let's play smart. And you know what? Screw that. Screw the three snakes, the spider, the spider web, and the spikes. Let's just go. Ha! Screw you, jerk. I do want to look to see if there's anything over here, but we're done. We're done looking. Uh, the gold bar in my way means I'm going to have to use a bomb to make my escape, which I will happily do. Watch out for that gold bar that's right in front of me. Watch out for the skeleton. 
Can I get in there from uh, another location? No, I don't have any uh, spike rubs. Uh, paste either, so let's go in there ourselves. Three ropes? That's worth it, man. And we're done. Get out. Oh, I wanted to try to kill the scorpion. But the same way we did it before, which was maybe uh, an arrow. So sorry, Garth. I just want out. You know what? Oh, I missed the scorpion. I'm going to play around with the scorpion because I feel like killing something right now. Killing a small, poor, defenseless animal with poison in its veins. So it is going to be a key somewhere around here. We're going to have to kill the spider to get past it. A bit unfortunate, because that means we have a chance of money being thrown into us violently from somewhere on the level. A.K.A. this guy. But got to do what we got to do. I see the two gems to the right. I don't think there's anything behind the chest. And I don't think there's anything behind the paste. Good, 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 good. I don't see the key. Could still be up there just barely, but I'm not gonna worry about it. If we don't find the key, we don't find the key. And I'm not even gonna use a bomb to go over there, so I'm just gonna take the rock and get out. Okay, back to the jungle. Tunnel Man, go away. Maybe I should give Tunnel Man a bomb. Maybe it's all in, in my mind, and I just need to be a nice person. And if I'm a nice person, then uh, good things will happen to me. We can 1,000% get those from another location. And that other location is right Bombs. Could go to the secret level. I think I'd rather just stick with the uh, with the jungle, honestly. There's another crate over there. I do have paste. So you know what? Get the dog out of here. And the frog! No, frog, get out! Dumb oh, frog. Get the crate. Oh! Oh, I'm... No, 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 no. I fell accidentally, and then I got startled when I saw that the ruby was so close to the, uh... To the vine. I want to get out before he explodes. In case he explodes into money, which I think he would have. Because there's a ruby next to him, there was some gold below him. I hear rushing water. Okay, let's try not to die from this jerk again. Major piranha. A hole! I probably should have looked down first, but I saw. I saw the, um... Oh, I was hoping I could kill the, uh, monkey. I saw the, uh, the frog, and I'm like, this is a good opportunity to get down, because if I get down now, the, uh, frog is going to, uh, protect my fall. Yo, you are not doing a good job, buddy. Gary. You stole my robes! Get out of here! Broke the boomerang. <laughs> that does happen sometimes. Oh, there go the ropes. Well, there's more ropes. And we can get to that crate, I think. 
Oh, nice jump! Directly into the spike trap. But we can't actually go get that crate. I have to use the two bombs now. Oh, what the hell? What are you doing down here, buddy? What the hell? Still have time. About 40 seconds left. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a bomb. I'm gonna put a bomb down right here. I have the glasses, so I know that there's not gonna be any garbage to dodge in the form of gems. Instead, I just want the crate. Shetty. That's not very good. Let's drop it. I'm not even gonna take it. I'm just gonna leave. Grab the dog. Get out. GTFO. I could have grabbed the uh, the boomerang, but with the bats and the tiki torch, tiki torch, tiki trap, I just wanted to get out. So we got out. There's money on the tree. I just saw it drop because I threw the pot. You can even see it glisten slightly. So we're gonna avoid that tree at all costs. Now there is a secret character there, a secret character that I could access with that rock that's in the pit. So let's drop the dog down. Let's go down ourselves. We killed his friend, we can kill him. Grab the rock. Activate the secret character. Ooh, it's a uh, guy who's really startling me, holding that that rock. Okay, come here. Thank you. I do not want him alive. He scares the shit out of me holding that. Uh... That rock in his hands. He could throw it at me at any moment. Three bombs. Do we go for the other crate? The other crate's gonna be harder to get to, I think. Yeah, a lot more gems in the way. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that other crate. We're just gonna go. Gonna grab the dog. Kill this guy. money in the trees. Always gotta look for money in the trees. Not in a good way. I don't like this at all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dog. You helped me so much and you don't even know it. Now, yes, I, I see that there is a uh, an altar for sacrificing there, but you know what? I just want to get out right now, okay? The dog helped me by destroying the monkeys when I threw the dog. And that is so much more valuable than one free item. Because those monkeys could have knocked me into the spikes very easily. I do not want to go this way. Let's go this way. Could get a boomerang if I am very lucky. There we go. Do a quick check. So I think that's the way we're gonna have to go eventually. I don't like the tree, but I've learned how to deal with them. Just whip them. Probably want to go fast. Before he spawns a whole lot of frogs. He can't even hit me from there, actually. Want to do two, two damage with the boomerang for every swing. Oh, shit. That's fine! Gold did explode, but not into me. Which means I'm okay with that. <laughs> that is very dangerous, though. That guy is dead. There's the dog. You can get the dog very easily. I 
don't see any money in the pit either. Uh, I don't like that gold bar being there, but there's not much I can do about that for right now. Kill this guy. There we go, he's dead. Watch out for money in the trees. I can't really see any money behind his corpse, but, you know, whatever. Okay, this is going well. We're at the ice caves yet again. It smells like wet fur. So, this is very scary. Also, the explosions, yes, but the Yeti Man is scary because he could just straight up murder us. A lot of stuff still happening and exploding it worries me slightly. Oh, he's already dead, and he already dropped his items. No, the boomerang! No, I needed the boomerang! Well, I'm trapped here now forever. Unable to complete my objective. I am stuck in the ice caves. Things exploding around me. As I write this down in my journal, F the no gold run. I'll see you next time.